how to practice web development. So you're learning how to code, you started taking some courses, and guess what? Now you wanna start putting those skills to work for you, right? You wanna practice, you wanna see if you can actually build something that you actually learn in the class. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to do this. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video and leave a comment. So, step number one, you wanna challenge yourself by creating sections of a website that you already visited before, something that you already know how it works. So, for example, maybe you like anime, right? And you visit this website all the time, or maybe you like Taylor Swift, okay? you know how these websites work. So what you wanna do initially is you wanna find a section, how do I build this, okay? And go and challenge yourself. By doing that, you know how this website works and you're actually practicing the skills that you have. Again, we're talking about HTML, CSS initially. Now, over time, you want to go in and start learning other things like JavaScript. So again, you have interactivity like this, where you might have like a menu that opens up. So recreate the same functionality. Same thing as maybe uh, being able to search for an anime. So again, this website has a lot of ads. But let's say you come in here and you say Dragon ball z right you might want to create this feature where it actually shows you the autocomplete of whatever the anime is or maybe just showing the different anime movies or shows that might want to show up whenever you search dragon ball right so again you want to go one step at a time a lot of times people try to go in and recreate a whole website and in the beginning what you want to do is you want to start small start building sections. Once you take a course or you watch a video, go ahead and challenge yourself to just build one section with whatever it is that you just learned. And as you continue to go and get better with your skills that you have, you can go ahead and build the whole page. But this is one thing that I will say to you, please do not fall to the trap of just creating clones and clones and clones. What do I mean by that? I'm pretty sure some of you guys have a Netflix clone, a Spotify clone, a, I don't know, YouTube clone, a Google clone, right? A lot of people go in and just fall trap to just building a bunch of clones, but they don't really challenge themselves to actually go in and create something original or something that's solving a problem. So this is how you take it to the next step. Now that you actually went in and practice with just the basics in that first stage, you know that you can build more complex things. So you want to go in and start solving problems. So think about things like what happens when somebody go to the motor vehicles, right? They have to come in, sign up. They have to get a ticket. That ticket gives them a number, maybe a G27, IO27, go talk to the next person to get a new license. Let's say, right? You could build an app for that. Let's say someone is looking for something like, hey, how many payments am I going to have to pay if I buy this house? How much money am I going to be paying in the first five years, in the first 10 years, in the first 20 years? What happens if I go in and I put an extra thousand dollars on this mortgage every month? Guess what? Now you're solving problems. You can go in and use something like this. You can create like a mortgage calculator. Now, one thing that I will say is presentation is everything. So if you want to go in and invest time into this project, make sure that not only is functional, but that it's also looking really good. Now, again, you're not a designer. I get it, right? But this is why you go to platforms like this, like dribble.com, okay? In here, you could literally search for mortgage calculator, right? A good example, or maybe you might want to go in and say, well, I want to build a web application. Search web app, okay? You could see what a dashboard will look like, how you can actually go in and create maybe a dashboard that looks like this, for motor vehicles so they could see all of the people that signed up and the people that have to get a new license the people that are there to renew their license the people that are supposed to take the driving test etc right even like a plane seating right somebody's buying a ticket guess what create something that's solving that problem guys i hope you guys are getting a lot of gems in this video and you understand the value that you're getting here 
on this one video alone. Now imagine, this is just on YouTube. Imagine what you could get at codingphase.com, which is my platform where I actually help students come in, get into the tech industry, and we teach them web development one step at a time. I make it very simple, very easy for people who are beginners, people who are coming from learning how to coding other platforms or people that just never have done this before. And we help them get into the game. You know, a lot of the jobs that we help people get 65,000 to 85,000 starting. We've had situations where people get hired in a month and a half, two months. If you're coming in and you want to get some results, you definitely want to check out codingphase.com. Shout out to all the Hall of Famers, right? All the people that came to Coding Face and have gotten a job. You can come in, see their testimonial, see what, you know, their experience was. Definitely come check out codingphase.com. I'm going to put some links in the description for you guys. So definitely go check it out. Now let's continue. Now the third level is really about creating websites for businesses. Now, believe it or not, the majority of developers start with agencies and working with small businesses. So again, you want to go in and start building websites for those small businesses. So I'll give you an example. You could create a website for a long service company, something like this. Now you might say, where the hell am I going to get this, Joe? This website looks beautiful. How am I going to build this? Very simple. You could go to themeforest.net, find a theme, recreate the theme, change a couple of things here and there, make it your own. Now, again, this is not for you to sell to anybody because for that, you might as well just buy the theme, which might cost you $5, $50, right? This is just for practice. But again, you're building something that you can actually now show to a real client and you can be proud of that because you built it yourself. Maybe the design, you didn't make it, but the actual website itself, you built it yourself. Again, you have examples like lawn services, right? Barbershops, um, doctor's office. Create a whole website for a doctor's office. Have all of the features that a doctor might need. Appointments set up, connected to maybe Zapier. You could capture the emails and save the times from when somebody's capturing the appointments. There's a lot of ways that you can do this before you're even a full stack developer. So through this whole process, you're going in, learning something small to practice the small skills that you are picking up. Then from there, you're solving a problem where now you're putting a couple of skills together to solve that problem. And then the third part is you're actually building real websites for businesses. That's how you do it. And you practice like a pro. Now, guys, I hope that you follow everything that I told you in this video and you actually implement it. You need to do this to really pick up the skills that you have and really master them. And at the same time, not waste time building random projects that's not going to get you anywhere. So again, I hope you guys liked the video. And yeah, I put in this video right here for you guys to go check it out next. Okay, definitely go in there. I'm telling you, you're going to get some gems.